Dragon here, and today, as you can see, we are talking about the Dragon Prince. We are doing a little bit of a theory video on the Dragon Prince because I have some thoughts on it that I think are going to come true in either Season 3 or maybe a future season that we don't know is coming out yet. But Season 3 is definitely coming out. They pronounced it a few, I think it was like last week or a week before that or something like that. They announced Season 3 was coming out. But let's talk about the Dragon Prince. I have a few things to talk about today. The first thing is Callum and his magic, of course. The second thing is... Or the, the first thing is actually going to be the... Um, the first thing is going to be the key, I guess. Um, and then we have Callum and Rayla. I want to talk about their relationship. So let's talk about the key first. The key of, like, the thing. I want to talk about, like, how are they going to open the key? How are they going to open the key? Is it going to be Callum? Because a lot of people speculate that he's going to have all the primal magic sources. Because supposedly he's the first ever human to get a primal magic source, like, to himself. Even though, um, I'm pretty sure he's not because I've heard stuff where, like, the main writers of the story have said that he's actually the first human now because back when elves and humans used to live together... Humans used to learn primal magic sources from them. So I, I think that's what happened like way back in like like thousand like a thousand years ago or something like that. I think in the story that's how long ago it was. But yeah, when humans and elves used to live together, they used to learn primal magic. But it's pretty interesting to think about. So how is this gonna be unlocked? Is it gonna be Callum? We'll talk about that a little bit later, but uh is it gonna be Callum? Maybe. Or is it going to be a mixture of Callum and the animals? Because we know that animals with primal magic can activate the key as well. Or is it going to be random people? Because we, I, I'm pretty sure I heard somewhere that there's going to be new characters coming in in the future that might be able to help Callum or might be enemies to Callum, who knows. And Rayla, of course. But um, maybe those people are going to help him open up the key. Or maybe it's going to be a mixture of both people and animals. Uh, because he's got to open that key somehow. Or maybe, I don't have a picture of him, but maybe it's going to be, um, I forgot his name, but the evil antagonist uh, that, that destroyed the castle. Maybe it's going to be him that takes the, the key. He eventually takes it after he gets out of jail, I guess, because I'm pretty sure they put him in jail. But maybe it's him that takes the key and uses it to open a portal to get to um, the evil elf, or the elf that we see. I, for, I forgot his name, <laughs> but he's an elf. Uh, the elf that we see through the mirror. Maybe, maybe, that will, maybe it will open the portal to free him. Um, and then we have Callum himself. What awaits for Callum? Is he the first one to ever get primal magic? I already said that I'm pretty sure the creator said... Like, I'm pretty sure the creator said that he was not. That there used to be people that got magic when the elves and humans lived together. But now they don't because they don't live together anymore. So that was like a thousand years ago. So lost of time. Um, at least for the humans. I don't know. Maybe some of the elves might remember if they're a thousand years old. Maybe the the evil elf in the mirror will remember. Not sure. But um, will he be able to learn magic? I don't know. I don't know. And by the way, on this one, on the key, maybe that flame elf that we saw in season two. I don't know her name, but she was in the lava like volcano area. And she fought against the mute or the death girl. She fought against her their aunt. Maybe she'll meet up with Callum and them, want to kill him at first, but then become friends with them. I don't know. Maybe a rival love interest. I, I doubt that. I'm pretty sure she's too old. <laughs> but um, Callum. What's going to happen to Callum? Is he stuck with just the Wind Arcanum? Or is he going to learn the other Arcanum? So, I know... That I've been thinking about, like, how is he? How would he learn the other Arcanum? Maybe he's too. Maybe he'd be too weak fighting against something. So I have to use dark magic once again, which will put him back into that state 
of him kind of like unconscious and kind of dying at the same time. Um, or being taken over by dark magic, I guess. And then he'll learn other primal sources. I'm pretty sure there's, um, five? Right? Let's, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. I guess there's six primal elements. So, if that's true, you'd have to use dark magic six times. Uh, because it's a six-sided, um... It's a six-sided key, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. Six-sided key, so six primal elements, which means he would have to use dark magic six times uh, to get his primal elements, which would be really weird how they would write that into the story. Uh, I don't know how they would write that into the story, or maybe the next time he'll just unlock two or three, or maybe even more. I don't know. <laughs> but there is a possibility that he's going to use dark magic again, I, I'm pretty sure he probably will before the end of the series. He probably will use it at least one more time. In my personal opinion, I don't know if that's what's going to happen, but I think eventually he's going to have to use it for one reason or another. Maybe he'll lose his connection to the primal source. I don't know. But I also thought about, like, what if he gets hit by lightning or something like that? Or a near-death experience? Because... It was hinted at in one of the season two episodes that he was going to go and get himself struck by lightning to try to get the, I think it's the wind arcanum or maybe the storm arcanum. I'm not sure what would be associated with lightning, but he was going to go get himself hit with lightning to see if he could get his power, but it didn't do that and the dragon got hit with lightning instead and he got his power. So maybe I thought like, Maybe that's, that was a reference to what's going to happen in the future, or a, what would you call it? Not a reference, it would be, um, uh, foreshadowing, Foresh foreshadowing, foreshadowing. <laughs> it would be foreshadowing what's going to happen in the future, that Callum's going to be hit by lightning, or maybe have some kind of near-death experience. And I thought the same about the water, because as we know, in the show... Um, in Callum's weird dream state, he fell into the ocean, if I'm not mistaken, if I remember that right. He falls into the ocean, and he's just, like, drowning there or in the ocean, and he's surrounded by water. So maybe that will also happen, and that's how he gets the water arcanum. Uh, so yes, like, there's a bunch of things that could happen, and maybe he needs to have near-death experiences to gain this. Um, and like fire, maybe it's going to be something to do with lava. I don't know, maybe he'll go to that lava place and someone will push him in and he'll lose a leg or something like that. <laughs> become Dark Vader. <laughs> That's joking. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know how he's going to do the lava one or the fire one. Something to do with fire probably. Maybe he's in a burning building or something like that. Uh, so maybe something like that. And then the moon... I don't know, maybe he becomes a space, like an astronaut. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm just saying, there's plenty of ways that he could get these powers, like being in a burning building or in a situation where he needs it, or surrounded by water, or maybe he just needs to have death experiences where he's almost dead, and that's how he's going to get the powers, which will be really morbid, but it'll be cool if they do it right, and it'll be... It'd be, like, morbid, yet stupid, because they'd keep on redoing it. They'd be like, really? Every time he wants to do power, he has to almost die from that thing? I don't know how he'd almost die from the moon, by the way. Unless a moon rock went down and hit him. But I'm pretty sure that would kill him, so... Uh, but I don't know. But if they did it in the right way, it'd be pretty cool. So I do personally think that he is the first human that is going to get all the primal magics... And be on the same level as the elf. Uh, because he has all the primal magics, I think. If I'm not mistaken. But I don't think he's going to be as powerful as him. But I think he's going to be in, this, in the final confrontation. Or maybe the elf will turn out to be a good guy. Or maybe he'll be so pissed off that he wants to just kill everybody. And make himself super powerful. I don't know. Is the elf the true evil one? Or will their father still be the true evil one. And try to kill the elf to get his power? I don't know guys. But I know Callum, I, I, sorry, I don't know, but I think Callum will be able to get more Arcanum as he goes along, or more of the magic as he goes along. 
and it'll be very interesting to see how he does it. Um, there's many ways to see how he does it, but I'm sure he will do it somehow. And then we have, so yeah, as you can see, I had extra pictures that I forgot I had, but we have Cal in there. Uh, I was just thinking like, I don't know, any way he can do it. And here's the evil elf. I forgot his name. I think he's evil because I'm pretty sure it was explained. Not maybe not through this, but through other things I've seen. It's explained that he's the one that gave the the human dark magic that got them all banned out in the first place. So he's really old, but does that mean he's evil? Or is he a good guy? Is he trapped in a prison of some sort and that's what the key's for? Or what? I'm not sure, but he's definitely going to play a big role. And is he going to be the main antagonist? Or are their fa is their father going to be the main antagonist and try to kill this guy to get his power? Is he going to succeed in killing him and getting his power? I do not know. But I'm pretty sure he's probably going to be the main antagonist. He's probably going to be super powerful. And all the elves and all the humans are going to have to gang up to fight against him. Uh, I can kind of just tell that's going to happen already. Just by the way it's going. But maybe, maybe I'm completely wrong and it's going to change. But if I'm right, I'm right. Leave a like. <laughs> if I'm right, come back to this video in the future and leave a like. And subscribe. Subscribe right now, though. So it's fine. Um, and then we have Callum and Rayla. I think her name is Rayla, right? Yeah, her name is Rayla. So Callum and Rayla. What is their relationship going to be in the future? Um, and is Dez going to have anything to do in the future? I'm sure... In the ex in the upcoming season, this is what I think it's gonna be like. I think it's gonna be going between Callum and Rayla. I mean, going between Callum, Rayla, and Dez. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be like every episode is gonna be like, oh, here's a little bit of Callum and Rayla, then here's a little bit of Dez. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like episodes with Callum and Rayla, then some episodes with Dez, and see what happens between them. It's gonna be very interesting to see what happens uh, between these two things. Um, it's just going to be very interesting. Uh, I don't know what else to say about that. But, uh, right now, we're not focusing on Dez. Even though I'm pretty sure he's going to have a hard time because, uh, that guy sent elf, supposed elf assassins to go get those people. Which means that they're going to be pissed off and they're going to probably want him in power and not Dez. So, it's going to be a whole kerfuffle. <laughs> it's going to be very interesting. But we have Callum and Rayla. Um, is the relationship going to blossom into something else? Because we know Rayla has feelings for him. She almost said she did to his face until he woke up. But we know she has feelings for him. And he might start having feelings for her too. I don't know. Uh, she is an attractive elf lady. Uh, who's probably too young. <laughs> uh, but she's old enough for Callum. <laughs> so go for it. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, like, she definitely has feelings for him. But does that mean he'll get feelings for her? And in that matter, will someone else come between them? He still has feelings for this girl. I, for I forgot her name as well. What what was her name? I don't know. Whatever. But he still has feelings for her. Although he does feel betrayed by her, so he might not feel like to trust her or anything. But will she come between them and will they get together or will she kiss them? Will she kiss him, sort of thing? And then Rayla will see and get really pissed off and be like, "I can't believe you did that." And it's kind of just like, it's kind of like this jealous trope where Callum eventually goes like, "No, I like you, Rayla," sort of thing. You know, it might have something like that to do, like something like that. Or will there be new people coming in, uh, like a new female coming in? Maybe even that fire chick. Don't know. I'm pretty sure she's too old though. But maybe there's going to be a new character coming in that's going to split up the whole dynamic between all of them. And it's going to no longer be a love triangle. It's going to be a love square. Or maybe even a love octagon. or <laughs> I don't know. Maybe there's going to be a guy that comes in and starts loving her. And maybe she's going to fall for him. I don't know. There's a lot of things that could happen. And it'll be very interesting to see. But I do think they have a chance of hooking up. But I also think they have a chance to hook up as well. Um, but I don't know. I do think there's probably going to be a love interest and like something there. 
And it's probably going to come in the form of a new character. Or maybe old characters. I'm not sure. I'm not the writers of the show. But I can't wait to see what happens. It's going to be very interesting. Um, and what's going to happen between Callum and Diz? As I was talking about, I'm sure Diz is going to have his own fair share of troubles. And I was actually thinking about this. And I was thinking that at the end of this, that the elves and the humans are going to go back to war, but then the dark elf is going to get out, and he's going to be the be- the bad guy. Um, and I was thinking that Callum and Rayla, of course, and maybe even the bad uh, the bad siblings, will actually have to go save Diz from their father and from obviously. The evil guy. I keep on forgetting his name, sorry. But uh, they're going to have to go save him from them. And then they're going to have to like stop a war from happening. Or stop the war from going any further. So I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen. They're going to have to go stop him. And then we have that dragon as well. I don't know what's going to happen with that dragon. It's going to be crazy. But um, that's just some stuff I want to talk about today. But I'm sure at the end we're going to see... Our main and our main protagonist, our main protagonists, because there's multiple of them. I'm pretty sure we're going to see them all get together again at the end and probably stop a war or stop a war from progressing any farther. Further, uh, the dragon, I don't know, maybe he's going to accept Callum after Rayla explains it, or maybe he's going to try to kill Cal. I don't know. But it's going to be very interesting, and I cannot wait to see what happens. And I hope you guys can't either. Um, go hit up my Twitter and the link down below if you haven't done that yet. Go follow me. Um, like this video. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Tell me your thoughts and what you think is going to happen. Or what you think I got wrong. Uh, share this video to all your friends and all the people that you know. Hmm, what else? Like, comment, share. Hit that bell because you love my content. As always, my friends, stay sane. Peace. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Because I know I did. But anyways, uh, I hope you liked it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hit that bell for notifications. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, do it because she wants you to. And I do too. So subscribe, watch the videos. Hit one of these things on the screen right now. Okay, bye-bye. Peace.